And thus ends the training arc of Haikyuu Season 2. With the second half of Haikyuu Season 2, we're probably going to move into the tournaments and get to see probably the Nationals. We might get into the Nationals with the second half. But before I even get into that, this was the perfect episode to do the ribbon on top on a lot of our characters with their development and showcase how much they have changed. Suki is a character I want to focus on first. As I said multiple episodes back, Suki was a character I was never really fond of. He was a character that was the least developed in the entire cast, and he was just a character I didn't really care for. I, I really didn't. And seeing how he has developed, and then seeing in this episode when he had that conversation with his brother, it was very sweet. Seeing how he interacted with his brother, it felt very human. Like, his brother walks up to him, and is like, I'm on a team. I'm still trying to play volleyball. I finally spiked a ball. I got to feel those emotions of how it feels to be important like on the court. And you see it to where looks at his brother and he realizes what was said earlier on in the past couple episodes. Fokuto when he said to Suki, like it feels so good when you make that ball go past the blockers and it just reaches and slams down. You know, not the exact word for word, but you get the point I'm getting at. When he saw that scene and seeing how Suki reacted to that, it instantly let me know that he has really come a long way. Because in the past, he would show no emotion, he wouldn't really care, and he would show like he has no effort to really even get better at all. But when I saw that face he made to his brother, and when I saw how he fought back about Vokuto what he said, I'm like, yep, Suki is going to become a very good character if he continues on this path. So I'm looking forward to seeing how great Suki is going to become in the future, because he is going to be competing with Hinata for, like, not losing his spot. He doesn't want to feel inferior to him. And with that happening, with Hinata kind of being, like, our main character, and Suki kind of trying to not fall back and be inferior to him, I could see Suki becoming a really, really awesome, awesome person in the future. Everybody else has improved on their spikes, to their teamwork, coordination, and right now they're a little bit rigid to where the cogs are turning, but they're still rusty. They need to have these cogs turning in the proper fashion where all the colors can mix or move as one. And when you saw that one analogy to where all the colors, like, you know, red, black, green, and stuff, all these colors mix, it'll get muddy, and eventually it turns black. I like that. I really like that, because the way that was put was saying that once all of you mesh together properly, you'll become one color. And since, you know, black can be emphasized as a crow, I really like how that was used for Karasuno, and how it shows that our teammates will eventually become one with their teamwork. Now, that's pretty much it when it comes to the overall development of this episode, besides revealing the tactics of certain team members, for instance, Bokuto, and how his team is not really fueled upon him being the ace, but actually Bokuto's mood swings. See, the mood swings of Bokuto actually give strength to his team, because his team doesn't just completely rely on Bokuto to be the ace and curb stomp the entire team. His other members of his team can actually hold their own and stand up against like really strong players, so it's cross and and be able to kick their ass. So that's another key moment we need to look forward to when we you know, see the future matches between them and Karasuno. That's about it when it comes to the serious stuff of this episode. So getting into the comedy segments of the episode, pretty damn funny. I mean, there was a lot of, I guess, best girls, secret best girls building up this episode. Like, I saw that, I, I saw that manager with that freaking, the eating the rice balls and the licking of the tongue. Like, whoa, best girl. Like, secret best girl. Secret best girl right there. I'm like, damn. And then you also have it to wear... Like, uh, our other characters are trying to protect the manager, and they're getting upset, or, you know, very, very fucking angry. Like, you see this animation on their face. I couldn't help but laugh my ass off. I mean, there was many good things throughout this entire episode of Haikyuu, and it gave me a good laugh. And I have to say, quite the well-done episode. It's definitely a great way to end this arc that's been very uplifting and heartfelt. Now, animation-wise, Haikyuu... I had to give props to Haikyuu on one thing. If there is only one thing I could compliment Haikyuu for, it would definitely be that animation. And even though these episodes haven't had the most action-packed events happen, for instance, just training and not much, so to say, serious, serious has happened, the animation is still pretty damn high. A lot higher than normal anime from this season, and it shocks me how Haikyuu can do something like this with the budget and animation and the teamwork that the... I know the animators had to be doing for Haikyuu. They must really love Haikyuu to be able to be putting this much effort into it just for these scenes that are not really, to be honest with you, shouldn't be that visually impressive. Because, I mean, they could have easily have cut the budget out in this training arc because, honestly, many people would expect that. And then you would see, you know, the awesome epic budget happen 
in like, you know, a real tournament or a real battle against another school. But they didn't do that. They didn't cheap out, which I have to give my compliments. I gotta give compliments to the studio that is working on Haikyuu. So yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.